I am going to be going over an anchor chart over bark graphs. Now I know this is something we learned like right when we let off, <coughs> excuse me, before spring break. So it should be something that's hopefully a little bit still fresh on your mind. Um, just so you guys know, this will be um, on your choice board five and it's under the science math connection, okay? Um, <clears throat> our objective is I will represent data on a graph. As we know, there are lots of different types of graphs, but we specifically learned um, about four. We learned about a table, a bar graph, which I'm going to be um, reviewing with you guys. And then we know there are <clears throat> other types of graphs um, that you will be learning about in third grade, fourth grade, and so on. Right here, I have our table of data, and it's going over favorite colors. Table of data. Purple, they had 65 votes. Green, 25 votes. Blue, 42 votes. And pink, 50 votes. I have already set up a bar graph that I'm going to be shading in um, to show you the exact expectations on how I want you to do it when you are doing it on your seesaw activity, again, for choice four five. So I have decided to go by tens. You can see here it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, up to 80. I decided to go up to 80 because I knew my biggest number was 65, so I need to have a little bit more um, than 65. And here I have my colors going across purple, green, blue, and pink. So I'll go ahead and start off with my purple, and I'm going to go ahead and take my purple marker to show you how I want it done. Purple, purple, and I know I have 65 votes for purple. So I know I have to go up to the 60, but now I see that it's 65. I can see here there is no 65, and that could be a little bit tricky. And so what I like to do first is I can come in and I can add little markings in between. And it kind of gives me a benchmark. So I know between zero and 10, I know that's five then 10, then 15, then 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and I know now that middle mark right there is now 65. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my purple. I'm going to make my mark right in between, nice and neat. I'm gonna trace it all the way around. I'm gonna make that a little more bold so you can see it better. And I'm just gonna go ahead and shade it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my green. I can see green had 25 votes. So for here I know that's 5, 10, 15, 20, and I have my little benchmark right there for 25. So I can follow that little benchmark to the best of my ability, or I also know it's going to be between the 20 and the 30, and it's right in between. It's right in the middle because 25 falls right between 20 and 30. Then from there, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I like to kind of trace it in. And then go ahead and shade. Right there, perfect. Next, I can go ahead and look at my blue. Blue had 42 votes. Now this could be a little more tricky because 42 is not one of my little benchmark lines. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go ahead and do your 10, 20, 30, 40. And now you know that benchmark is 45 and that's a little bit over the, the 42. So you know that 42 has to be just below that halfway mark. I'm gonna say that again. 
If I go up to the 45, I know that's already over my number. So I have to go a little bit less and it needs to fall right in between the 40 and the 45. So if this is 45, I'm gonna trace it across, but I know it has to be a tiny bit less. Now I will be, when I check this on your seesaw, I will be checking that you are making sure it's a little bit less than that 45 benchmark. So please be sure that you are being as accurate as possible because I will be checking for that. And you can go ahead and shade it in. Just like I did. And now I know that's 40, that's 45, and it's just under. Now the last one is pink. And here's pink, pink, and it had 50 votes. Well, that makes it pretty easy for me. All I have to do is follow the 50 line all the way through, and that one actually la lands right on that main line. So it makes it pretty easy to see. That one, I shouldn't have any trouble um, finding the marking for that one. Or the benchmark. And there it is. I can always double check my work. Purple had 65. 60 and then halfway to the 70 is 65. Green had 25, so I went up to 10, 20, and then right in between the 20 and 30 is my 25. Blue had 42, so I went 10, 20, 30, 40, and then a tiny bit more. And then pink was 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. If there are any questions on this, again, please feel free to text or call your teachers for extra tutoring. Um, we all have different tutoring times, so please just um, check um, in with your teacher to see when's a good time to call.